Hello, ladies and toads. It's me, Mama Mia, and welcome to the, uh, episode two of Guilty Party. Well, this is right after the prologue. The, I'm about to start the our very first case, which is in a Dickens Manor. We don't know what that case is yet, but we're gonna find out after we push this button and a cutscene appears. So I'll s stay quiet during the cutscene for you. And once again, I apologize for any echoing. I don't know what I can do about that. So please bear with me. I'm trying my best here. For tonight I bear dire news. I received an envelope in the mail from an old friend of the family. Mr. Valentine. The Shakespeare of crime. Indeed. What was in the envelope, Grandpa? A what? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a party invitation with a poem inside. And there once was a Seamus named Dickens, whose private eye kin were all chickens. Come Valentine's Day. I don't know how the, the heck you supposed to read that. Day. My plot, like a pudding, now thickens. That it was like, like an terrible awesome writing, party. and I don't even know where the limit is. What are you going to do? I'm retiring as head of the Dickens Detective Agency. <gasps> what, yes! what have you done with my grandpa? Oh, I haven't changed, but Valentine clearly has. I'll let someone else foil his evil schemes from now on. Well, who's it going to be? Eh? If you're retiring, one of us is going to have to fill your shoes. Personally, I think out of the six ca characters, I think the best qualified is Phoebe, personally. What are my options? I could let my daughter run the place when she's not at school with the feds or tending to a clearly insane child. Or ask my oldest sister and her muscle husband what their to do it. Is. Then of course there's my son, the Chow Hound. I'm right here. I guess that leaves me. You're far too young and inexperienced. The kid Riddle isn't. That gets, that gets the pudding talking. At any rate, you still haven't figured out how to work together as a team. Putting any one of you in charge would be a grave mistake. But who's going to run the Dickens Detective Agency? And my dear wife, you are. What? what? Oh, Dorian, I really must protest. He's not even a detective. I'm not taking my marching orders from some old lady. Watch what you say, but... Listen, when Valentine hears that I'm no longer head of the Dickens Detective Agency, he will assume I am no longer a threat. But in the back of the Okay, in this clip here, I want you to take a good look at Olivia Dickens' face <laughs> and tell me if you notice anything. Dun dun dun! Lana, my favorite. Um, there's also a note. What? Ah, yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. You kidnapped your wife. Guess you don't have a clue. It's just as I feared. Valentine is unleashing his most villainous plot yet. He wants us to know we are powerless to stop him. You've got to do something. I'm retired. You're the detectives. You figure it out. Who done it? Okay, so kidnapping occurred. Let's see. Like Olivia Dickens has been kidnapped, or should we call it wife nap? <laughs> like wife napped. And I and the fact that like like he can like. Let his retirement like wait a little bit so he can find his wife. Like I thought it was that part was like a bit like like cool to me. Like okay, so big okay, so main point is Olivia Dickens has been kidnapped and the guilty party is, is one of the suspects in the house. So basically what we talked about what last time. Yep, we talked about this. And there is Mr. Valentine himself. Yeah, he can unleash the uh, savvy cards against us. You know, like walk in the room, putting us in darkness, doing things to s suspects, a bunch of stuff. Okay, so he locked us in, in a room. Okay, so at the beginning of each turn, we can like pick up a savvy card. And for this case, it'll 
pick, no matter what you pick, it'll be the skeleton key. Ling Ling Johnson, ready to go. So first, we're gonna use the skeleton key to get past the locked doors. Sweet. Yes. Perfect. Nice job. Here we go. We pass through the locked doors. Now, okay. Now here. Here is the golden clue for this case in Dickens Manor. It's the golden pudding bowl. And it smells like bananas because it's banana pudding. Alright. Alright. No, like, oh yeah, I can't do it yet. Like, like the next turn I'll be able to do it. Okay, let's talk to our first suspect. Who is Miss Sh Chef Madeline Ash? Where's the fire detective? Hello there. Yep. These are her characteristics. And like if you like look at her like profile picture that that'll come up in a little bit, she looks a lot like a pig, just saying. Okay. I'm a pig packed with clues. You just need to cook it. Okay, so now we are getting the clues going for like two two cups there. Oh, and I want to look, look at this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ah! Spasm! Okay. And, like, here's, like, a thing, like, I've been, like, this is a thing I've been doing for, like, a couple days now for, like, practicing this game in advance. Like, okay, so watch this. Do you want a beer? Do you want apple juice? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you'll find this to your liking. Like, see, look at that. Doesn't she look like one of the three pigs or something? I mean, like, it's like the face and like the lower body, and, like, just kind of gives it away. You know? Okay, so after kidnapping, there's something in the office. Okay. Okay, so now let's read the top half of this letter. They must return to the manor after you hide her. Okay, and then the other part of the letter is right here. How are you? And here's the second half of the letter. So let's read the whole thing, shall we? You must return to the manor after you hide her, so you don't arouse suspicion and hide the evidence, signed Mr. Valentine. So this is Mr. Valentine's letter to the culprit. Okay, and here is the next suspect who is like very similar to the judge except for the hair. Judge Judith Prudence. And like the other girl, I don't remember who mentioned it. Like her name is Madeline Ash. How's okay, it so here is Judith Prudence. We're gonna get a testimony from her. And this one's important because this one actually gives us one of the four characteristics that we need. Okay, so this is her eating an apple. And after the apple juice thing we do with Madeline. Oh, uh, yes, I love it when like she does that. It's like, yes! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. We're on the same team, fighting for justice and all. Sure. Okay, so in the lightning flash, you press someone so thin could carry carry her. Which means she saw that, oops, that means she saw someone thin. Oh, and like I, and this is the A and B thing I was talking about. You're like hold the clue with A and B, and you can drag it all over the place. And you can even like drag it into here. And da 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 da! This means that the culprit is thin, which automatically rolls out these two. Which means it's not the chef and it's not the judge. Who is the guilty party? Here we go, now, like 17 turns until the culprit gets out. And now Mr. Valentine turned off the lights. Be careful! We won't be able to see anything. We I have a hard time seeing the suspect, and we won't be able to see any clues. The investigation begins. Yep, and that one will automatically be the candle, which we're going to use right now to light up the room. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Now that's yeah, that's, this is just basically teaching us how to use the like like savvy cards. I'm pretty familiarized with how those work. 
Anton, they've run on an empty stomach. Okay, now I'm heading back to the office again. Uh, here's the introduction of... Now hear this! It's like secrets. We found a bonus token. There are hidden tokens, cards, and even secret passages in every mystery. Like, like certain items in, ro in certain ro in rooms will like be able to give us like either a, a coin, a token, or or like a secret passage. Like that one doesn't have anything. Okay, so this is a pile of papers. Gonna go through some papers. All right. So we are ten minutes through. Okay, let's go. Come on. Move that. Grab the clue. Gotcha. Yippee! Yes. And I just got a promotion. I am now at the rank of detective, which is the medium difficulty. This means that, like, mini games are going to be slightly harder. Oh, yes, and I forgot this was an important clue, too. Okay, this is a man's bow tie. Which means, da 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 da, it's a male. So, we can, like, you see those two are crossed off. There's, like, this one, this person here that we can cross off our list, but I can't do it until I've actually seen her. So I'm gonna visit her right now, actually. Uh, I usually like to see the suspects that are that are proven not to be the culprit first, so I can get info out of them. Can I help you? Are you lost? Um, uh, okay, this is uh, May Fifi from our, from our, She's uh, personally one of my favorite suspects in this game. She's like very unique, and I really like her. She's got like nice like got. She's like pretty. She's like French. She's got like the gothic look with the earrings. And look at her apron. She's got a jug, like a bottle of poison in her apron. That's like full of death right there. That is full of death. All right. And get a testimony you from her. How you say? Could there you go. Now I gotta bribe her. I'm gonna give her some money. Oh. Yeah, she'll start to be like all jumpy and start switching hats like a jerk. Like I'm trying to give you money here. Like stand still. Perhaps you could make some sense. Like well, I didn't send Schmoot in the pouring rain. Like that mean this means you're dead. You liar. You did send Schmoot in the rain. Okay, now the safe. I gotta crack the combination inside that safe. So we got a safe here. We gotta twist the Wii remote hmm. to get the combination. And then it's like a five number. Wait, oh, I thought I was done. Okay, so nine. We keep on going. Yes, there we go. We got it. I can use that. Okay, found a golfing cap. There's a short hair inside this cap, which means, let's get over here, there we go, she so says short hair, which means it's not her, and it's now another person, so we already know who the culprit is, and I'm sure you, if you saw my last video, you remember him. Okay, we only got five clues left, so we're already almost, almost done with this case. Okay, so the end of the turn, we're out of tokens, let's go. Which suspect is the culprit? Keep moving around. The good party escaped in 16 turns. I've never had an instance where the guilty party escaped because I saw them like so fast. I only saw that like solved the cases within like five to six turns. Like, well, and like these easy cases at least. But, okay, tell me, detective, how are you going to solve this mystery when you're stuck in the dark? Okay, so in case you don't know what this is, this is like a special like. Like events that happens when you're in the, like in the middle of a case, like it depends on what what uh, like where you're at. Like this happens in Dickens Manor. Like Mr. Valentine will like do this because he's a criminal mastermind and he is such a jerk. You'll never be able to re replace all the fuses in time. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to do it. I don't know how I have this ability to laugh like a psycho, but I do. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Install the fuses. We gotta put the fuses in. We gotta grab them and put them in the right spots and twist them in. Okay, so where's the red? Here's the first red one. Here's the second red one. Where is it? Okay, it's right there. There we go. Okay, yellow. 
I almost won it. Oops. Don't do that. Thank you. And where's the other yellow one? Right here. Thank you. And so the last one put into place. All done. And sometimes it glitches out where like some rooms are still lit up while the all the rooms are supposed to be dark. Here we go. And I haven't seen anything around there. And over here is where you can get the last clue to find out who the culprit is. And there's really that old fat guy goes. Go well, up here and guess to get the photo. Okay, gotta develop the film. I gotta shake, shake things up a bit. Gotta shake it up, shake, shake it up, shake. And look at the fruit, get an apple, and run away with it. Okay, there we go. And I'm officially super sleuth already, which means I'm already at the hardest rank. I knew it. Okay, hit it on a high shelf. It's a photo of Mrs. Dickens. Okay, for a long time, like, I have seen that this has a, a picture of a corpse. Like, it looks like a corpse. But then, like, today, like, while I was doing a test recording, I was able to see Mrs. Dickens' face and the hair. So, and then, like, I, and I think now I'm starting to see her fur coat. Like, before I saw her actual head, I thought it was like the face of a corpse, and I thought it was like the creepiest thing ever. Like, I first interpreted this as a corpse for like a long time, and I, and who knows how long I've had this game. I've had this game for years. Okay, so this is on the high shelf, which means da 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 and I wonder who could be the culprit. I wonder if we saw him last case. Okay. Oh yes, and like the mini game for this, like I like the mini game for this on Super Sleuth because like it's mathematical and I love it. Like it really uses my brain. Yep. See, it's like mathematical. You get a four-digit code, and then we gotta add like I'm. Um, map stuff like either an equal signs plus minus stuff like that let's see let let me see what's it gonna be six one twelve okay oh i get it. six equals twelve minus six see? that's awesome and my boots like from the rain that's when the, the maid made schmoot go outside in the rain, and Schmoot is the gardener who is right up there. Like Schmoot, I assume, like, like, hasn't had like a. Schmoot made it there. Oh, see, there we go. That's like what it means. Oop, see the passage. Nice. See, that's what we mean by being paranoid. Like, since he's one trait away from the culprit, he like started running off. Okay, so I'm gonna see where this goes. Yes. Okay, yep, that takes me back to the kitchen. I couldn't see it in the kitchen before because, like, the game wouldn't let me. Uh, wait, is there any, like, can you get the co coins or something in here? I don't know. Like, the, yeah, the secret passage in the kitchen is in the fridge. So, yeah, I'd have to, like, go in here so I can get the thing from Schmoot. I believe I'm almost there when it comes to... Getting all the clues. Oh, use my bonus token. This is me using a seven yes. card to get uh, an extra token so I can talk to Schmoot right over here. Schmoot, I need to talk to you, sir. <laughs> Schmoot greets. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh yes, okay. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta put my race rack on. Like, this isn't something like a throw, thank goodness. Like, oh yeah, when I move the Wii remote, it makes a sound. Like, Lingling -ling makes a sound. There we go. And, okay, now I'm gonna scare the culprit. I'm gonna threaten him by threatening to beat him up! Like, this is the sound of my fist! You hear that, Schmoo? You're in a Schmoo! Working in the house. You were out in the rain because the maid told you to do it. Okay, so now I need 
two more clues. Okay, so last time, like, our previous, like, test recording, he locked that room where I needed to go. Oh no, I mean, I thought he was going to do it again. I would have been so upset if he locked that same room again. I would have been upset. I'm gonna go here first. Because I can use the whistle to get the butler over here. And then I can make the accusation. Oh, take a message. Nice. Okay, so I got a card. Let's see, what's on top of that? Hold on, I'm gonna see where this goes really quick. Yes. And then I'll go, go back. Yeah, I forgot to investigate this. So I could have found this out earlier. My bad. Yes. It's because I forgot. Okay, I'm at 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm actually doing quicker than I did in that that one previous recording. Okay, so now I gotta hit the lock and I gotta hit them up. Just what I want. Okay, come on, I gotta hit them all up. Oops, gotta look back and then twist it. Yep, I I unlocked the drawer and I got the dark red lipstick, which was on that man's bow tie, which it adds extra proof. Okay, wait, I got my voice, like, alright, so now I can whistle, like, you on over, wait one second, I want to cross smooth off my list, because he's done, alright, now, I can whistle, that is over here, there he is, the culprit, kidnapper, just a second, thank you, Hello, Governor. Hello, sir. Do you have anything to say? I don't just hand out private information to anyone who asks. Uh, I'm sure you don't, but I'm gonna, like, tickle you. I'm gonna, like, like tickle all around your skin, give me my face. And that fine mustache, too. And Yeah, like some of them have like really creepy laughs. I hope I can be of some use. And this, he went golfing on this day off, which means that the golf that the golf hat was surely his. So there we go. We got absolute proof that Thaddeus was in fact the culprit. Review the clue. So wait, one just one more time. Okay, good. Okay. Sorry, but I must get back to Buckling. Uh, you are the kidnapper, and I will accuse you of it. Don't point that finger at me. Don't. I am pointing my finger, sir. I am pointing my finger. Well, not my finger, but my cursor. I'll poke your bow tie. <laughs> You'll regret that. Wait, what is it? Watch it. Watch it. Okay, so I am going to accuse him, yes. How do you know the guilty party had short hair? Because you admitted to this cat being yours that has your hair inside. How do you know the guilty party was a man? Because you got your bow tie on it. What makes you think the guilty party is thin? The judge saw you. And even though I don't believe she's a legitimate judge, I believe that means something. What makes you think the guilty party is tall? Because you have a corpse. Like, well... If you look at it one way, it's Mrs. Dickens, but if you look at it another way, it's a corpse. And there you are, Butler Thaddeus Bill is guilty for the kidnapping of Olivia Dickens. Alright, I did it. But what are you well, I love this part. About it. Yes! And this is why Charlotte is my second favorite character. Touche. Why'd you do it, Bill? What did Valentine have on you? In the old days, I was quite the bodybuilder. I find that hard Mr. to Valentine believe. Mr. Valentine put my talents to use. Always paid me handsomely, too. Not like here, for the bonus is coming pudding. So, when he asked me to help him nab the old bird, I happily agreed. Where is she? Where is my mommy? And that animation of something falling out of a pocket. I don't even think that pa those pants even have pockets. Hello, Point Express? That's the bullet train. Oh, I've heard about that. It's supposed to be rather speedy. It leaves tonight. Then let's get going. They forgot their pudding. <laughs> I love that line. 
Again, these lines though. Was... There we go! Four turns! Last time I stopped in six because of they locked up the stinking room. Yes. There we go, and I got all these wonderful badges. And that's the end of the episode. So, like, join me next time for when we take on, like, episode two. Like, like, case, like case number two, which will take place in the train. I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, or give me a, a request if you have one. Well, it's, as long as it's ones I have, like, sh there should be, like, a thing on DeviantArt that I'll put in the description. And I ho hope you all enjoy and have a nice day. Bye!